Wings by Applaus TV. This is your host, Rust Diamond. Well, I've never really talked to you guys about anything on a personal level before. We never really hold any type of reasoning with each other, right? So I thought to myself that I should take this opportunity to really tell you guys a few things about myself and you know get to bond with you all a little bit so as you know I'm Russ Diamond I have this channel Inspire Plus TV I decided to do YouTube videos because um, I think I have something positive to contribute to the the platform, you know, the society. Let's put it that way. So that's the reason why I say let I do a YouTube channel. So I I, I started to name my channel. At first it was uh, Rust Diamond Cats and More TV, but. I had that going on um, cuz I really love animals. I'm a, I'm a cat lover. I love cats so much. You can see this little one right here. This little one right here is my baby and she's say hi, say hi, say hi, kitty. Say meow. I got you. Okay, well, she's not talking. She normally talks to me, especially in the evenings when she wants to cuddle, you know? But this is a catchy everyone and this is just one of my many cats. You see how I them? <laughs> so I had that channel, Rust Diamond Cats and More TV, and I I renamed it to Inspire Plus TV because I like the word inspire. It's a, it's a very motivational um, word. Because without inspiration, we really, we really don't have a plan. We, we have to have some form of inspiration, right? So, Inspire Plus TV, yes. Uh, well, you can also ask me anything you want to ask in the comment section below. Yes, you, you, you can go ahead and do that, but um, there's not really much about me still. There's not much about me. I'm just a 33-year-old female, and I have a problem, but I don't really let it get me down as in which way it would be a big big problem yes it is a problem because it's a medical problem and this medical problem is not just any medical problem right this one is kind of serious it's not a death sentence because studies and research in that area has been advanced up to date but then People always die very regular from it. And people still do die from it. Sickle cell disease. I won't lie to you. I was born with sickle cell disease. Right? Full blown disease. There's no trait. No nothing. I know half me get. Or the whole blow me get. My mom and dad did that to me. You understand me? You me? Yeah, so my mom and dad did that to me. My mom had the trait and my father also had the trait. So now I come with the entire bucket. If you understand what I mean. The entire thing. One shot. And it's not really a pretty thing. No. It, it, it is hell. It's not really a pretty thing at all. Yeah, so as I was saying, I don't really know if you guys know a lot about sickle cell disease and what it really entails. But I can give you all the a matter of fact, I can give you all the details about sickle cell disease. It's a terrible disease. 
it's very painful and in in the in the in the hard time it's not really much it's not really much painful in the hard times but once you see the cold chipping and the rain and you know the, the bad weather hell man painful your knees are hurt you your joints are hurt you your fingers are hurt you your hands your head your belly your back Yo, sickle cell disease is a, it's a pain in the ass. You hear what I'm saying? It is like a ticking time bomb. It's just ready. And it just attacked you anytime. You don't have no specific time for really come on to you. Right now, me and you guys, there's a good, good, good. And I'm not really, I'm not feeling a pain right now, right? And by the time for walk, go down the road, there's so. I have to call him to carry my medication come. That's sickle cell disease and the pain that it brings. But I'm not really going to worry about that. If you want to know more about sickle cell disease, because a lot of people don't really know much about this thing, right? You can always Google it. Just go online and read up about sickle cell disease. So that's really me. I'm a sickle, 33 years old. When I was a baby, the doctors told my mom that I will live to see 18 years old. And I've surpassed that period, thanks to the Almighty. Yeah, I, I did it. So I'm living one step at a time. I can't really do much work. I can't. I didn't get that blessing. But Whatever God does is well done. No, so them say, and me prove it a number of times. Only part time me prove that. Anything God say, I hit your flow. So God allow me to have the strength to carry on my daily life. So I can't really do any farmer work, like to go out there and do a nine to five job. I can't do that. So I have to be doing my thing. You know, I, I, have to, I have to create my own income. So, you would say I'm a, I'm really a farmer still. I, I'm a farmer. That's what I do for a living. I do poultry, I do pigs, I do goats. I do a number of animals. As we tell you before, I love animals. And if me did even healthy and up there, like, could have really pushed a nine to five job, but I still do what I do. I would still be doing my animals, I would still be doing my poultry. Nothing wouldn't change about it, but unfortunately, I can't do it. So I just make myself, I just make myself um, useful. Me not really sit down and depend on family or friends to help me. You understand? I know so they can't chip in, you know, when they can. But I now go really sit down at daytime and make phone call to all of my family members them and tell them, say, Lord Jesus, you know, so I don't have nothing to eat or I don't have nothing to wear or I need this or I need that. No, I don't do that. I try to do my own shit. So, you could say I'm a self-employed entrepreneur. Yes, that's it. So, what we really did want to talk to you guys about this evening is, is just, I've been wondering what's going on. You know, the men, them who are kill our woman, them is like, men eat women so much. So, I'm going to ask a question, but I don't really ever get the answer when I me, when me, when me look for. I want to ask, why is it so hard for a man to walk away from a woman? when the woman say she needs some space or she need a break from the relationship. It's like once the man hear that a one thing come to his mind and is another man a take away food. So he need to get the gun or a knife, a chopper, whatever. Or he use him hands and strangle the woman, kill her. Why? It's like you guys are weak. The, the male species is very weak. Why? Why you can't walk with? Why you have it? It's like, it's like if, 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 
if the woman says she want like a break, it's like you guys can say, all right, baby, you can take a break. You can't do that. Why you can't do that? Look at you. Oh, she's so sweet. She asleep. She watch mommy at the interview and sleep. So me I say, why is it so hard for men to walk away from a woman? Yes, you love the woman and no found the son spin out one whole for money from the woman and now the next man I will take that the woman there. So no, the first thing come to your mind of a killer. If you can get her, nobody can get her. That's very bad. And I'm saying we have to start from somewhere to put an end to violence against women and children. Cause the kids are in it too, you know. I've been watching a number of news reports about kids getting abused or getting killed by, 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 by men. It's always about a man. A man always a kill a woman. You hardly hear about a woman killing a man. I mean, most of you know that I'm the follow up the news. You hardly hear about it. I mean, a man with a woman understand. The men, you you guys want to do, but you no want to receive. Why? So you are the man and you get up and you will cheat with Patsy, right? Patsy now hear about it and she hurt. And she play about the same game for you. And she go cheat with John. You end up and kill Patsy. Why? When Patsy find out, say, you did a cheat on her. Did she kill you? No, she never killed her. But you hear say she have man and you will kill her. Why? Is that fair though? I don't think it's fair. I think you guys can do better. But it's like demons possess Jamaica. Or we can't just say Jamaica, you know. You look like the whole entire world because this is, thing is happening everywhere. Everywhere you go, man I kill women. Men. Men. It's all, all about men. It's like that thing you guys have there down there in your trousers give you so much trouble. You can't relax yourself. It's like when you feel so own one woman front. And that's not right. Because we know one fool or something. We don't. No name, no mark on it. Right? So, I want to know why is it so hard? I've been asking that question. From this killing spree start rapid in Jamaica. I tell you, I found when it start rapid, if I can recall correctly. Yeah, so it's it really discouraging. You know what I mean? It's like the men know. You guys don't want to see women again. You don't want to have nothing to do with women. Because if you did want to have things, like a good relationship with a woman, you're having it for years. And then one day she tell us, eh, she want a break. Then the first thing you can do is take up something uh, and kill her. You, you take her at three points. Why? Would you like someone to do that to your own mother? Or your own sister, or your own daughter, right? Me certain say so one would want that to know. Men, you guys are unfair, right? Me not have nothing against you, you know, but I mean, you can't fix up on the, on the thing, man. You know, I move too bad now. And it's like, nobody now do nothing about it. But then again, ask yourself a question. What can we do about it? How can you go about protecting yourself from men? How? Because if you turn a top, a man kill you. If you turn a bottom, he kill you. If you're going on the middle, at that time, he kill you. And if, anyway, you turn the man, if you kill him, I will kill you. So what may I say, females, yeah. whenever you're going to leave a man, or you feel so you want some space from the man, I don't think you should tell him enough. Hear what me that do now. You see, just time him, wait till him I go out. Then you make sure you put on a three piece of clothing, right? Three blouse, three bottom. Just find something and, and disguise it in a in a conniving way. 
you know you gotta play smart because if you not play smart at this or now you have a loser three points you don't get up and tell no man say look me done with you the relationship done you can't do that you assign your own a death sentence females you gotta be smart about this thing because and i'm not plating you know it is like a, a heave of forces upon jamaica not just jamaica it's in america too and all the rest of the world but i'm talking about our little island of jamaica it, it has gone so bad me eh, that me not even feel like walk on road again you know me wish then did have one underground tunnel where can carry me to where me did one go instead of a walk on road because a man have a kill me i don't want a man kill me you know if you die with a man can kill me like you know? if a man will look you and him not get you him will say if him not get you no other man not get you and at best so you, you lose your three points and that is unfair so you hardly find women kill men these days you hardly find it but what i'm saying is females be smart please be smart i've said this before you know but i never really come out and say it like this but me i tell you know when you leave a man don't do it don't come up and say look the relationship done me can't bother with you again me i move on if i want new man you are idiot you, you know you feel dead man if i that you ever do you feel dead you have to use your head you get up boy you left man man will kill you for that and since as you realize that, that the man I do, then you have to move smart. Find some distant relative to get away from him. You know what I mean? Like you live at Kingston. Maybe you have a family down in a um, Falmouth or maybe down Trelawney in Montego Bay. Who could tell? Wherever that family member is or, or a close friend, try to have a getaway. Right? Try to get away from that abusive relationship because that is abuse right there if you and a man involved and you as the female can have certain rights in the relationship then you have been abused whether it is physical or mental or whatever call it is considered as abuse you hear me so nobody just show up and just a rock like you are that. You can't do that. A one life you have and you have to protect it at all costs. You get what I say? So nobody come talk about you are left no man. The man not have to know so you are left him. You can't left on him though. No. Once he can't find you, then he must have to move on with somebody else. You know? Then I'm not going to look for you forever. So you have to find your way out now by going to a distant parish. A relative where him not know none at all. And the next thing again on the piece, you see. Never you introduce all your family members and friends to your man. Don't do it. Always reserve like two, two friends when you know or two, two relatives. So when push come to shove and you're on the Monday in an argument you now and you want to chop off your cloth, you can say, you know, so me never tell um Harry about Patsy though. Patsy and my cousin you know, and she did done so. I have to run my brother and go stay with Patsy until Harry get over me. You know, must come back there. So if a picking you have with him, take up your picking and go. Your life is important and you can't dash your life before free. You get what I say? You can't do that because of one life you have, that me say. So I don't know if you really find sense in what I say, but we know so what I'm saying is, is the is the truth. But you don't have to hold my opinion. You don't have to, you don't have to love my opinion. You, know? you you can have your own opinion and you work with your opinion. But I know there are people out there that it's gonna they, they're gonna say I'm talking the truth because I'm not saying no shit. This is real thing. You gotta play smart. The moment you find yourself stupid and dumb, that's when you will die. And nobody don't wanna die, darling. Nobody don't wanna die. So, ladies, I'm appealing to you. Be smart. Be smart. If you're in an abusive relationship, there's a way out. Talk to someone. Try to get away. Try. 
You hear me? That's all I have to say to you guys for now. But I'll be back again with you all next time. As I'm saying, if there's anything you want to say, go down in the comment section. Go down in the comment section and comment. You understand what I'm saying? Comment, like, subscribe, share my video. Please support me. It's Inspire Plus TV, your host at the most, Ross Diamond. Please give me some props. I'll see you again. Peace. Sickle cell disease is a group of inherited blood disorders in which the body produces abnormally shaped red blood cells that look like crescent moons or sickles. Sickle cells have a shorter than normal lifespan. Their premature destruction results in shortage of red cells, known as anemia. Signs of anemia include shortness of breath, fatigue, and delayed growth in children. Unlike normal red cells, which are pliant, Sickle cells are rigid and also sticky. They may clump together and stick to the walls of blood vessels, causing obstruction in small vessels and subsequent reduced oxygen supply to various organs. This happens repeatedly and manifests as periodic episodes of pain called crises, which can last hours to days and may result in organ damage, especially in the eyes, lungs, kidneys, bones, and brain. The spleen has to handle large numbers of dead red cells and becomes enlarged and fibrous. Its immune function declines, making the body more vulnerable to infections. In an attempt to compensate for blood cell loss, the bone marrow tries to produce more cells and grows larger, causing bones to weaken. Other signs include jaundice, a result of rapid destruction of heme. Hemoglobin is the major component of red blood cells and is responsible for oxygen transport. The adult hemoglobin, or hemoglobin A, is composed of four protein chains, two alpha and two beta. The beta subunit is encoded by the HBB gene. Several mutations in HBB gene are responsible for the disease. Each individual has two copies of HBB gene. The disease develops when both copies are mutated, producing no normal beta globin. The two copies may be mutated differently, producing two different forms of abnormal beta subunits in the same person. Various combinations of these mutations produce different forms of sickle cell disease, but the most common and also most severe, called sickle cell anemia, is caused by two copies of the same mutation producing the mutated hemoglobin S. Each copy comes from a parent. The two parents each carry one copy of the mutated gene, but they typically do not show any symptoms. This pattern of inheritance is called autosomal recessive. Hemoglobin S has the tendency to form polymers under low oxygen conditions. This process is called sickling or gelation for the gel-like consistency of the resulting polymer. As the polymer filaments grow, they eventually involve the cell membrane and distort the cell into the characteristic crescent shape. Apart from oxygen tension, the presence of other hemoglobins also seems to affect the sickling process. Normal adult hemoglobin inhibits sickling, and this explains why heterozygous parents, who produce both mutated hemoglobin S and normal hemoglobin A, do not usually develop the disease. Fetal hemoglobin F, which has two gamma chains in place of two beta chains, also suppresses sickling. Infants born with the condition seem to benefit from high levels of fetal hemoglobin in the first few months of life. They do not develop symptoms until the age of six months or so, when fetal hemoglobin levels drop. Bone marrow transplantation is currently the only known cure for sickle cell disease. It involves replacing the diseased stem cells in the bone marrow with healthy cells from an eligible donor, usually a relative. The procedure, however, is complex, and finding a suitable donor can be difficult. In most cases, treatments aim to avoid crises, relieve symptoms, and prevent complications. These include prophylactic antibiotics, vaccinations to prevent infections, 
pain medication to relieve pain, drugs that promote formation of fetal hemoglobin to suppress sickling, periodic blood transfusions to reduce anemia and prevent crises, and early detection and treatment for complications when these occur.